The Spider retractable hardtop system is made up of mechanical, electrical, and hydraulic components. The top consists of two composite roof panels hinged together. The roof is anchored to the body at the main pivot point. The hard tonneau replaces the hatch section of the 3000 GT. It's a one-piece composite hinged at the rear of the car. The electrical system consists of the hardtop electronic control unit, which inputs from the quarter window limit switch, tonneau latch limit switches, header latch limit switches, tonneau position sensor, and top position sensor. Outputs control the quarter window motor, door window motors, header latch motor, tonneau latch release motors, tonneau pump motor, and top pump motor. The pump motors direct hydraulic fluid to raise or lower the tonneau and top. Let's take a closer look at the hydraulic portion of the system. The pump motor is a single unit that combines a 12-volt motor, hydraulic pump, and fluid reservoir. The direction the cylinder piston moves is determined by the polarity of the motor, which is controlled by the ECU, depending on the direction the hardtop or tonneau switch is pushed. When current flows in this direction, the cylinder rods extend. When it is reversed, they retract. It's important to note that while the hardtop and the hard tonneau both use similar pump motors and hydraulic systems, they are not interchangeable. The hydraulic manifold assemblies for these two systems are different. Use of the wrong component may cause top operation problems. A hydraulic system problem could be in one or more of the following areas. The hydraulic fluid in the reservoir is too low or too high. A fluid leak at the pump, cylinders, or lines. Or there is air in the hydraulic system. The first two items, low fluid level and leaks, should be visible during your component inspection. Checking the fluid level is easy. On the reservoir end of the pump motor are two horizontal lines molded into the plastic. The upper line is the full level when the cylinders are retracted, and the lower line is the full level when the cylinders are extended. The fluid level should always be between the lines. If you need to add fluid, remove the filler plug on the pump motor, add the necessary amount of Mobile Aero HFA or its equivalent, and replace the filler plug. Hydraulic connections are made at the pump motor, at the manifold, and at the hydraulic cylinders. If any leaks are observed, tighten the fitting to specification, clean up the spill, check fluid level, and add if necessary. Also, it may be necessary to bleed the system after repairing a leak. Note that the hoses come in two colors, white and pink, and that any disconnected hose must be returned to its original point of connection. None of the hoses are interchangeable, and a cross connection will not allow correct top operation. The different colors help you make sure that all the connections are correct. Check the Spider Service Manual supplement to verify proper connections. Another problem is caused by air bubbles trapped in the hydraulic lines. The system is designed to operate properly with up to two inches of air bubbles in each of the lines. Air bubbles are visible through the lines. The total length is determined by adding up each separate pocket of visible air bubbles. Although outside of design specifications, the hardtop system can still operate normally with as much as 8 inches of air bubbles in the hydraulic lines. If the total length of air bubbles exceeds 8 inches, the performance of the hardtop system becomes sluggish. The pump may also become noisy. When this occurs, bleed the portion of the hydraulic system according to the service manual procedure. Let's take a look at the hardtop's electrical system. The vehicle battery feeds power to the ECU through a 60 amp fuse in the engine compartment relay fuse box. The ECU then supplies power to the hardtop pump motor, the tonneau pump motor, the power window motors, and the windshield header latch motor. Every time the key is in the on position, the ECU does a self-test to make sure its internal memory and circuits are okay. If the ECU self-check is okay and neither the hardtop nor the tonneau switch is pressed, it goes into a sleep or standby mode to save power. 
the ECU waits for any movement of the hardtop switch, the tonneau switch, or the window switches. When the hardtop switch is pressed to the open position, the ECU resumes full functions for top operation. Other components in the system include the console switches, the hardtop and tonneau position sensors, which send position information to the ECU, the quarter glass limit switch, the header latch limit switches, tonneau latch position switches, the object detection mat, the console chime, and the tonneau latch release motors. There are also harness connectors for the vehicle speed sensor and the parking brake switch. Electrical system diagnosis is the same as other vehicle systems. Begin by verifying the problem. Then, focus your attention on the easiest of the most likely causes of the problem. Most hardtop electrical problems can be isolated to one of the following. A blown fuse, an open or shorted circuit, switch problems, hydraulic motor problems, window or latch motor problems, or latch problems. And the Spider Service Manual Supplement has comprehensive diagnosis and repair sections. One final note on hardtop system repairs. Many repairs require recalibration of the hardtop ECU to ensure the correct timing of the components. The Spider Service Manual Supplement details which repair procedures require recalibration. Recalibration is done with a personal computer loaded with special software. All repairs that require recalibration must be sent to an ASC service facility. Refer to Technical Service Bulletin 95-42A-001 for information on contacting the ASC service center. Stop the program now and answer the test questions for Part 3 that came with this program.